Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and I have a big old ColourPop haul to share with you. ColourPop did a ton of sales over the holiday season. Like every time I turned around and opened my Instagram, they were talking about something else on sale and you know what, I can't resist a good deal. So I'm going to go through these things pretty quickly. I am wearing one of the palettes. I ordered the new Kathleen Lights collaboration and I just filmed a swatch and tutorial with the Dream Street palette. That's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. That will be up soon. That'll probably be the next video that goes up after this one. But I did want to share my little haul with you. We'll do a couple of swatches and then if there's anything that you're interested in seeing a dedicated video on, please leave a comment, let me know. I love making ColourPop videos and I love making videos that you guys actually wanna see. So we can bring those things together. Just leave me a comment and let me know what you're interested in seeing more of. For some reason, they sent me this massive box. All of my orders lately have been coming in these little freaking bubble mailers. And when this box arrived, I was like, what the heck did I order? Because I feel like it wasn't that much. And honestly, I don't really think it's that much. Maybe it is. Before we jump into this stuff, I just wanted to let you know, anytime I post a haul video, it's stuff that I purchased myself. I did buy all this stuff. I do buy a ton of makeup. YouTube is my job. If you don't like watching hauls, I don't know why you clicked on this video, but instead of being a Debbie Downer and leaving a thumbs down, why don't you just click away from this video right now? Ooh, somebody's feeling sassy today. Since I already mentioned this, I will just show you these. I got the Dream Team Lip Bundle and the Dream Street Palette. These are the new products that came out in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. Spoiler alert, they're gorgeous. Video coming soon. I did end up with two more palettes. With these two added to my collection, I now officially have all of the ColourPop pressed powder palettes. I'm sure by the time I post this video, ColourPop will release like 10 new palettes, but at this very moment in time, I have all of the pressed powder palettes. I do plan on doing a ranking or showing you my favorites and my least favorites, so a great excuse to buy these two. They actually had a promo going on where if you spent $50, you got a free palette. That's how I got this one. I got this one for free with my order. This is the Take Me Home palette. It is so cute and adorable. It has six shadows and it does have a mirror inside, which I really love. I feel like I could definitely travel with this or if I was gonna go just out on a day trip, this would be something that I would take with me to touch up. Does anybody else touch up their eyeshadow? I know I'm not alone there. Let's just dip into a couple of these and see how they feel. This is the bottom row from the palette. I do recognize a couple of these names, so they might all be existing shadows, but here's the swatches. I think they look pretty good. Their pressed mattes are really, really nice. This is the semi-precious palette. It has eight shadows, they're all shimmers. They look super pretty. Let's just dip into a couple of them and see. I don't know about these all shimmer palettes, guys. What do you think? This has been a trend and I just don't know. Ooh, that red. <gasps> wow. Okay, I might be eating my words. These look super gorgeous. I did order three more brushes. I am a huge fan of the ColourPop brushes. I think that the quality is great. I've only used the eye brushes. This is my first face brush. This is the small fluff. I feel like I bought this because somebody recommended it. Maybe it was Katie Lusterlux. I'm really not sure, but I feel like somebody recommended this for blending out under eye. That's what I'm probably gonna use it for. These are all duo fiber brushes, by the way. And this is the eye blending brush. I have a bunch of these and I love them. Every time I order, I use it as an excuse to order another one. That way I always have at least one clean. I use these constantly. This is probably my favorite eye blending brush. And I also picked up this small pencil brush. I only have one pencil brush that I really like and I wanted something just a little bit smaller so this looks about right. I picked up one of the pressed powder highlighters. This is the shade here, Kitty Kitty. I have one of the blushes and I love it. So 
One of my friends on Instagram recommended this to me and I'm actually not wearing any highlighter right now. So let's just demo this real quick and see how it looks on the face. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. Whew. First impression, this is gorgeous. It is a very icy, pale champagne. It's not too glittery. It's definitely showing up, but it's not like a stripe on my face. This was a good recommendation. Thank you, friend. Okay, just a couple more things here. I did pick up two of the Supernova shadows. And can I just say the packaging on these is so cool. I really like this packaging. The product itself is larger than I expected, so pretty happy about that. I got the shades Running in Orbits and UF Woe. These look like shimmery metallic goodness, and I can't wait to put them on my eyeballs. The very last thing in my order is a Luster Dust. This is one of the new products from ColourPop. I was seeing so many gorgeous pictures of these online. I got the shade Nomi, so it comes in a little pot with a screw top, and there is a sifter lid. I mean, wow, 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 wow. Let's see how it translates to my hand. Okay, there we go. Whoa. There we go. I feel that I would probably wear this more as an eyeshadow or like a body shimmer instead of a face highlight. It's just a little bit more glittery than I like to go on my face, but that's just me. Maybe you love some glittery face and you know what? I bet you look awesome. So that's everything I bought from the ColourPop sale over the holiday season. I'm really excited to try out some of these new products. And if you're interested in seeing videos or just like an Instagram post about them, leave a comment, let me know. I know I already said that, sorry. It's just one of those days, you know. I'd love to hear about your recent ColourPop purchases. Let me know what's new, what have you been loving. I always love to hear what you guys think too. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Ah, okay. Must be the gold mess. <laughs> mm. Is that necessary? Coffee break. And this one's just cute. I just coughed and like shot snot out of my nose at the same time. That's so gross, don't judge me. I'm sick, uh. Is that TMI? Sorry. Let me take the like brush condoms off of here. Is that inappropriate? I can never tell anymore. What brushes are these? Please tell me because I don't remember. What was that? Bye. It's what happens when you have blinds in your filming room. You get these cool blinds marks on your head. It's a new trend. It's called window blind contouring. It's very hot right now on the runways. See, I told you. I told you I was in a mood. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. All the neighborhood cats just come running. <laughs> ah, no. Okay, that's enough of that. That's enough of your sass.